Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to another edition of One on One with Dr. Brooks. I am thrilled today to be at Calera High School, and I have two amazing seniors that have joined me today. I want to introduce everyone to Jalen Pearson How you doing? and Constance Lee. Hello. Guys, thank you so much for being with me this morning. No thank problem. you for having us. Thank yeah, you. and I have to say, to the audience, I'm just amazed because technically these guys are done with school, but they got up this morning to come here to to join me in this podcast. So thank again, thank you so much for that. Yes, sir. So, but let me, I have to tell you all about um, these two. Recently, Calera High School had a production of The Lion King. Of course, you know, for, for many of us, The Lion King, uh, we remember it as a ma an amazing movie. We've seen it um, in production uh, on Broadway. And these guys performed The Lion King, and I have to tell you, they did amaz an amazing job. So Jalen was actually the character of Pumbaa. Yes, sir. Yep. And Constance was the character of Rafiki. Yes, sir. So I actually got to see these guys perform for us at... Um, the showcase of schools for Shelby County. And then I came to the first show and I have to tell you, if you did not see it, it was an amazing, amazing show. So um, so I wanna ask these guys some questions about that and, and get their take on on the, the play and the production and um, share a few other things with you all about them. So, all right, so my first question to you guys, we've already mentioned, you know, Jalen, that you played Pumbaa, and Constance, you played Rafiki. Mm -hmm. Is there any part of those characters that you all feel, this is for both of you, but I want you to answer individually. Is there any part of those characters that you all feel is a part of your personality? So Jalen, <laughs> I'll start with you. Most definitely. <laughs> okay, tell us about that. I feel like, because you know, Pumbaa is a very silly character. Yeah. And then in real life, I'm I'm just a goofy person. I I really don't take things serious. So yeah. that role that I played, it was just it kind of fit me very well. Good. I didn't really have to adjust to it because I've already have that kind of personality. Good deal. So, mm -hmm. so really, you weren't out of character. Oh, you not were, at all. <laughs> yeah. Good deal. You were doing you. And Constance. Okay. For me, I feel like it fit me like on the spot, mostly other than the accent and the walk. Yeah, yeah, very much because like Rafiki, it's like Rafiki doesn't talk much. Rafiki is just there like right. all the time. And I'm that type of person because I'll be a lot of places and not say anything. But at the same time, I'm so observant that I'm always like the wise one that people go to yeah. for like advice sometimes. But yeah. And then I walk around school with like random stuff on, like my hair, the hairstyles I get, it matches Rafiki. Oh, uh, well. I mm. got you, I got you. Mm -hmm. Well, I love the fact that you talked about wisdom because in, in many respects, that is the character that Rafiki plays in the movie. Mm -hmm. So I think if that's a part of your character, that's amazing. Um, and the hair is pretty cool too, Constance. So. Thank you, thank you. Um, I think I would like to know from you both what will you remember the most about putting the play on? What was, what were some of the things that you enjoyed the most? I would say the music. I yeah. really liked the music, learning all the songs and meeting new people. Okay. Uh, the theater group is always good because you can meet a lot of new people that's going to express themselves to you. So yeah. I feel like that's, that's, that's what I enjoyed the most. Good deal. Constance, what did you what did you enjoy the most, I'd or what will you remember the most? For one, it's the feeling of like leadership of other people, like having people that look up to me in a way. And I'd say the cast, 
like all together as a whole the casting for the show was amazing yeah. like the way they casted it they put the perfect people for the perfect characters it just matched yeah now mm -hmm. tell me about the gentleman that was i guess he was the production leader i saw him come up on stage afterwards it wasn't the teacher maybe it was somebody that helped you all with the putting on the production do you know what i'm talking about was it accordion Yes, yeah. yes. So, so tell me about him. He's a, uh, he helped us with our music. He directed our music. Okay. He's okay. a very good person. Mm -hmm. When it comes to his music, he's spot on. He, he's going to get it right. I enjoy having him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good deal. Um, so you guys are seniors, and I will tell you this morning when I drove up, I saw all of the senior pictures as I came up the, the drive, you know, I'm wondering how you all feel about that. You're uh, less than a week away from walking across the stage. Oh yeah, it's, it's a bittersweet moment, yeah. you know. Yeah. And everybody's ready to graduate, but leaving, you know, some of your friends having to split off, it's, it's going to be hard, but you just know that it's always something on the next level, it's, you know, yeah. college. Sure, sure. What about you, Constance? I mean, I say the same thing he said. It's bittersweet and like leaving people and everybody going on their own paths. It's good to like know that everybody is like going their own way, but the fact that they won't be as close, that's kind of sad. But yeah. I mean, at least everybody's doing what they want to do. I mean, sure, <laughs> sure. Well, and I think you, you spend, you know, sometimes 13 years with people and you grow in your friendships and your relationships and you kind of, you're sad to see them go, but I think there's, you know, there's opportunities for you to come back and kind of get a feel for, for what your friends and others are doing, you know, after school. So that, that, that kind of makes it cool. So, mm -hmm. um, so tell me some other things that you guys are involved with and I want you to tell me where, what's next for you on your journey. Well, I also play football for the school, and um, what's next for me is I'm going to in, go to Birmingham Southern, and I'll also play football there, and I'm also going to ma major in health sciences. Okay. Try to be a physical therapist or athletic trainer, somewhere around that. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And Constance? For me, in school currently, I do a couple things. Okay. I do FCCLA. I'm in a couple organizations. Yeah. I do Upper Bound, and there's one more I do, but I kind of forgot. I do a lot of theater. Like, theater took up a lot of my sure, time. I do sure. a lot of theater. Yeah. But, um, oh, and I do choir, chamber choir. I do that, too. But coming up next for me, I'm going to JSU, and I'm going to major in communications, and then I'm going to minor in theater. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So you're going to take this whole theater you think to the next level huh yes sir good good well you're very talented so i Thank know you. that you will uh you will do really well um probably on a, a more serious note and we're kind of taking a turn from the play and all but you know the last couple of years have been a challenge with covid talk to me a little bit about how you all have handled it and more importantly what you feel like you've learned from it well when it first hit, it was a challenge because we had to go virtual. Right. And, you know, virtual work for me is kind of challenging because I don't really have anyone there to teach me or help me, you know, with my work. And so it was kind of challenging. But when we went back to school, I kind of just started getting the feel back of it again. It was obviously different because, you know, mask and separation. But sure. I eventually um, got used to it. And what I learned was um, just to... Uh, I don't know. I, I guess use my time wisely. Right. Uh, prioritize other things. So. Sure, sure. What What about you, Constance? Okay, so when COVID first hit, that was my best year of school, other than senior year. Sophomore year, it was real fun. So it was kind of hard, because it's like when I first started back making friends, it was like I was building, and then COVID, and it was like, it was, yeah, it was sad. I still talk to the people, though, and a lot of people move, though. But yeah. it was pretty good. But, like, doing the work 
I tell you, the work, like virtual, going virtual was pretty hard. It was tough, huh? It was tough. Because yeah. it was like a big change, and it was like, okay, I can do this tomorrow. And then it led to procrastination. It did. But yeah. I got my grades in. I did good. And I say, it taught me, it taught me a lot of self-discovery. I'll say that. That's an interesting sentiment. I like that, self-discovery. Mm -hmm. I think as I've spoken to kids across the county, I think a lot of them have talked about it helped them be more resilient, you mm -hmm. know, and challenge them to think differently and uh, approach school in a different way. But I will tell you, most of the kids that I've spoken to, they were happy to be back at school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I am Very too. much. Yeah. So, all right. So, this is my last question. Now, you both have admitted to me just a tad bit of goofiness, okay? Okay. <laughs> so, so I want you all to tell me the funniest moment that you all had while you were doing this production of The Lion King. Oh. <laughs> it's so many. There's a lot. Okay. There's a lot. Tell me one that, that comes to mind. Ooh. What I could think of. <laughs> Ooh, there's so many. The scene. <laughs> where um his name simba mm -hmm. young simba is stuck in the stampede this was at a practice you took mine you <laughs> took mine <laughs> and you know the lights flash is a little dark and i'm not gonna call any names but <laughs> one of the cast members running back and forth and i i'm on the other side of the, the um the stage and i just hear a loud don't somebody fell <laughs> and it wasn't funny at then but once we thought about it, everybody was just laughing about it, like, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, Constance, you got to give me another <laughs> one, because y'all said there was a lot. There are, there are a lot. Okay, I'd say, well, this is kind of a general one, because we did it a lot. But, like, when people, okay, I'll use this one for an example. Like, when Mufasa died and Simba was going out to, like, look at his dad, like, we all start yelling out. We'll be like, Dad, Dad. Like, we'd make fun of Baby Simba in a way. Yeah. Kind of like that. we like, do his lines. I'd say that was real funny. Yeah. Yeah. Well, guys, listen, I will tell you, I enjoyed getting to watch the production. I think you guys did an amazing job. Um, you know, it was a little different from what we've seen from other schools. And, and again, I think you all were amazing. So um, I appreciate that. I'm certainly... I feel honored today to be able to have you on the show. Um, I'm actually looking forward to seeing what's next for you guys. I know, you know, you're going to do some football at Birmingham Southern. I'm looking to see you, Constance, on the big stage somewhere. Because um, again, I'll go back to your whole your mannerisms and your approach to that um, character was was amazing. So, thank again, thank you both for being here today, and um, best wishes to you. Uh, for a blessed graduation and a blessed future. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Absolutely. Well, Shelby County, as you can see, um, as I've spoken to kids all across the county, coming to Calera High School today is no different. We have amazing students who are involved not only in their schools, but they have things that are important to them in their futures. They have great plans for themselves moving ahead, and we're just very fortunate to be in a school district that has so many wonderful students to work with, be with, get to know better. I would be remiss, though, if I did not um, thank my producer, because my producer is actually a former teacher here at Calera High School. So thank you, Mr. Brian Pope, for your production of uh, this podcast and for all the other wonderful things that you do to um, make us all in Shelby County look great on video. So um, again, thank you to Jalen. Thank you, Constance um, and Shelby County. We'll see you next time on One on One with Dr. Brooks. Take care. <laughs>